Awesome. Welcome to another 12 p.m. tutorial. This tutorial will teach you how to access the Tor Relay network in an area where Tor has been blocked by connecting to a Tor Bridge Relay. Tor Bridge Relays, also referred to simply as bridges, are relays that are not publicly listed in the Tor network. This makes them ideal for reconnecting to the Tor network if it has been blocked in your area. Now that you know what the bridge relays are, let me show you how to use them. First, make sure you have the Tor software installed on your computer. Having access to a bridge relay without the Tor software isn't going to help anybody. If you need to know how to download and install Tor, you can view my How to Use Tor tutorial at bit.ly slash 9u d3n9. Once you have the software, you can go to www.torproject.org slash bridges to read about using bridge relays to access Tor. Let's go there now. Go ahead and take a moment to read over the information on this page. Once you're ready to move on with the tutorial, minimize your browser and start the Tor software. Go to Settings. Click the Network tab. Now check the box that says My ISP blocks connections to the Tor network, and a dialog box called Add a Bridge will appear. This box is where you will type in bridges and where you will see all the bridges you have added. It is always better to have more bridges because the more you have, the less chance you will be disconnected from the Tor service if one of the bridges is blocked. The simplest way to get a Tor bridge is to click the button Find Bridges Now. Another simple way to get a Tor bridge is to open up your browser and go to bridges.torproject.org. The bridges listed here will change every couple of days in order to allow access to the Tor network after these get blocked. The last way to get a list of Tor bridges is to open a Gmail account and use it to send an email to bridges at torproject.org with Get Bridges in the subject line. It is important to remember that Tor will only send bridge relays to people who send this request from Gmail. This is Tor's way of minimizing the number of relays that get blocked by securing the information behind Gmail's standard HTTPS encryption. Check your inbox a few minutes after the email is sent, and you will have received an email from Tor with a number of bridge relays. Copy and paste each of these relays into the Add a Bridge dialog box, and click the green plus sign to add the bridge to the rest of the list. Tor will automatically use these relays to access Tor so long as you have a check mark next to My ISP blocks connections to the Tor network. Once you're done adding relays, click OK. Now you know how to use bridge relays to access Tor.